Hey, peoples and persons, welcome back to Dante's Derivatives. Hey, peeps, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to look at more cybersecurity, and I want to show you guys more Blue Team Labs online because it's a great platform to learn Blue Team cybersecurity. What I want to show you guys specifically is a walkthrough of their PowerShell script analysis keylogger room. It's an easy, free challenge. And without further ado, let's just get right into it. I'm eager to show you guys this. All right, so as I said before, we're on the Blue Team Labs online website, and we're gonna go through their free and easy challenge, PowerShell Analysis Keylogger. So the scenario here is, a suspicious PowerShell script was found on one of our endpoints. Can you work out what it does? So it sounds like we're going to look at some files, or maybe a file, and see if it's a you know, malicious PowerShell script, possibly a keylogger from that keyword there. So I'll actually, to answer these questions here, we're going to need to download this file. So I'll copy the link and I'm going to bring it to my Kali virtual machine. And as you can see, I don't have anything in this directory here. Now I'm going to wget that link from Blue Team Labs Online. And it actually gave us a zip file. And I'll clear the screen. LS. Awesome. So I listed this I listed this directory and there's a zip file from Blue Team Labs Online in there. So I'm going to unzip this zip file. And the password from Blue Team Labs Online, you'll actually be able to see it here. I'll take you there. The password is BTLO. All right. So BTLO. And you can see inflating PowerShell script.zip. So I'll I'll list the directory again. So we have another zip file here. So I'm gonna clear the screen so we can see what we're doing. I'll ls, and I'm going to actually unzip the PowerShell script. And there's another password. We'll go to Blue Team Labs Online to get it. So the inner zip is infected, that's the password. Infected. And it looks like we got HD wall paper engine dot text. So that, let's see if we actually have it. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to actually remove those two zip files. Move dash F, 5.5, five, and the PowerShell script as well, because we don't need those anymore. Nice. Now all we have is the suspicious um, uh, PowerShell script in here. So let's look at this. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, the first question, let's let's check out the first question real fast. SHA-256 hash, what is the SHA-256 hash value for the PowerShell script file? So there's a, a SHA-256 sum command that we'll actually use here. SHA-256 sum, and we'll use it on the HD wallpaper engine.txt. So I'll hit enter. And here is our SHA-256 value, our hash value. I'll copy this, and we're going to take it to BTLO, Blue Team Labs Online. I will go ahead and paste that value into here, and we'll submit it. Hey, whoop, whoop. Let's get that blue flag on the screen, our little victory flag. So I'll scroll down. All right, so the second question. What email address is used to send and receive emails? So for this one, we're going to actually have to open up this file. So I'll clear it, I'll clear the screen, and I'm going to actually cat this HD wallpaperengine.txt. So now we can actually look at the actual file. It looks like some code in here, It's probably PowerShell, because this is a PowerShell script that we're looking through. Yeah, this is a PowerShell script. So it looks like there's some emails in here as well. So the first question, just to refresh my memory, what email address is used to send and receive emails? So let's go back. So there is a to field here, Shad Hari Part 454 at gmail.com and a from. Okay, so it's the same value. So I'm going to copy this. And we'll bring it back to BTLO. Hey, let's get that blue flag back on the 
back on the screen, our little victory flag. We did it. What is the, sec the third question? What is the password for this email account? And I actually did see a field that said pass in here. So this is the password. We'll just go ahead. Since it says pass, I'm going to assume that this is the password. And after this, I'm going to go ahead and bring you back in here and show you something cool. So what is the password here? There's the password value. Hey, nice. All right, another question done. Another one bites the dust. We're on a roll here. But let me just show you a little bit about this script. So we don't really need to understand exactly what this script's doing, but we can take this value here. All right, we'll take this actual, this entire value with the dollar sign. And I'm going to try and find in the script where it's referencing this, this value. So we're going to look for all the passes. So of course we see one where it gives you the pass, the password. And now, so this credentials variable here actually uses this pass. So I'm going to see if there's any more password references. So no, that's the only reference there. So let's see what the credentials variable does. We can see where it's actually referencing this credentials variable. Okay, so credentials, it's a new object management automation PS credentials. So that's the same one. We'll go to the end here. Looks like there's one here. A send mail message from to. It's taking all the. Okay, so here's where it's actually sending stuff. All the actual SMTP port. So here's the credential variable. Use SSL. All right, so here's where it's actually referencing a lot of these variables. So yeah, that's just one way to actually analyze these scripts. You don't really necessarily need to know everything that's going on, but you can, you know, just kind of look at what the variables are and what the variables are doing. So anyways, let's see what the next question was. What port is used for SMTP? And there was actually, that was at the beginning of the script in the headers. So we'll go to the top. SMTP port is 587. 587. Hey, Victory, we did it again. Blue flag, get the blue flag on the, on the screen. What DLL is imported to help record keystrokes? Okay, so here I'm going to just use the find function again. And we're going to look up DLL. Hmm. Okay, so looks like that didn't work. But we'll just scroll through. It's not that big of a file. So DLL import user32.dll, and these are all the DLL import lines. So user32.dll, looks like this might be the import here. So I'll copy this, and we'll bring it to Blue Team Labs Online. So file name dot extension, user32.dll. Hey, another one, another victory. Nice, this is awesome. So what directory is generated it, what directory is the generated text file put in? So let's see. We will go ahead and scroll through here. So, oh, automatically, I see it right here. Keylogger.txt. So this is the generated text file, it looks like. It looks like it's in the temp directory. So the TEMP directory. We'll take that back to BTLO. I don't know why I copied all that just to type it, but that's okay. Awesome. Hey, we, we did it, you guys. We're learning more. Um, that was an, an easier room, a faster room. Sometimes these PowerShell scripts are a lot more complex than this. But I'm glad I got to walk through this with you guys. Smash that subscribe button. I, I appreciate all of you guys for watching, especially my subscribers. So if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button because I like to make these videos. Um, my content, right now, it's mainly geared towards beginners. But it's because I like learning and I want to help other people learn too. So on that note, hit that like button if this video was valuable for you, if it helped you learn a little bit about PowerShell scripts and malicious scripts in general. And lastly, as always, thank you for learning.